Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name's Cringe. You're watching Sticky Trigger gameplay, I guess. As more and more video content goes up to this channel, I have less of a clear idea of what on earth is happening uh, with regard to my life. This is Crash the Insane Trilogy. I played a little bit of Crash 2 and a little bit of Crash 1 so far. From what I've seen online, there's been a lot about like, oh, Crash 3 is like actually the best one because it's like refined and it's like, the, technically the newest, well it is the newest one out of the trilogy, so um, the original trilogy. I will say going into it, for the most part it's the same thing, so if, you, if you're watching this for buyer's advice, it's good. If you enjoyed the originals, you're going to enjoy this. If you didn't enjoy the, the originals, you're probably not going to enjoy this. But if that's not enough to convince you, well that's what this Let's Play is about. So let's jump right in. The one issue is load times. Load times are really long compared to PS1. They're not like horrifically long. Of course, it's crashing into Australia. Of course, Australia is not that exotic. Yeah, load times are pretty lukewarm. It's terrifying how good this looks, right? Like it's absolutely haunting. Very impressive animation, like much more than I was expecting. Also, those lips are so shiny. Okay, yeah, I don't care. I just want to play the game now. This is fine. So you have to basically choose to let Coco come with you, which is fine. But, as opposed to the original Crash games, she can crouch and slide. And her spin is not some sort of weird, like, handicapped kick. I was kind of surprised to find that out. It's also in Crash 2 that you can do that. Crash 1 you can't because, like, she wasn't in Crash 1 originally. But in Crash 2 you can also jump onto, uh, place Coco. So let's... What I think we'll do is we'll just smash through the first few levels. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? This is terrifying. So I'm getting like rapid flashbacks to a few months ago when I played this most recently. Um, yeah, like it's it's weird to see something as lo-fi as Crash 1, 2, and 3 rebuilt to this standard. Terrifying. But I'm okay with it. I will say it doesn't feel as fast. Which is a weird thing to say, like I wouldn't have expected that. But also you can just like... Crouch spin everywhere, so... Fuck them. Okay, this is absolutely by far the, the most gorgeous game that I've seen out of the three so far. Crash 1 and 2 don't look bad by comparison, but clearly like there is a... Ooh, cheeky. There is a different scale. There is a di different level of ambition at play here. Oh, that's fucking terrifying. One thing that I did mention to a mate of mine um, earlier, the Sabo actually, was that um, I kind of wish that it had like a 3D option. Obviously, like I, I don't actually, I don't even have a 3D TV. Um, I don't even have a 3DS. I have a 2DS. Um, but I found myself getting caught up on how deep into the scene the enemies are, and so I would be dying more often than than usual. Maybe that's because I'm, like, distracted by everything else that's going on in the screen. Could be. Um, and, and the others were far simpler, so it was much easier to read at a glance. But, um, yeah, interesting observation that I made earlier on. Also, this is a game that just feels good to play. Like, every single interaction, you just get this vibration come through the DualShock 4. It is magical. Like, it just feels good, and it feels weighty as well. I, I think I'm, I'm a little bit weirded out by it because it's not in the same style as the original PS1 games were. Um, the original PS1 games were, I mean, clearly they had a, a, a very Spartan kind of look, but the direction some of the PS2 games took, um, in particular Twin Sanity, um, I think that that has, has really set a standard in terms of the style. Um, in terms of the fidelity, obviously, that this is something that's only been possible on PS4. They probably could have made something looking pretty... Ooh, cheekies. Something looking pretty decent, but um, it, it, it truly looks gorgeous on PS4. Oh, 
Not going to lie, though, I've been playing it and just hoping to God that at some point there is a PS4 version of Spyro. Activision, I'm just going to say this this one right now, just between you and me. Can you please bring back Spyro? Can you, like, properly bring him back, please? And we'll jump into Coco's level, you know. We'll keep it nice and short and sweet for this video. So in uh, Crash 3, there were uh, totems, relics, um, which basically were rewards for completing the time trials to a certain uh, level of quality, I guess. If you were fast enough, you would get a sapphire or a gold or a platinum. Crash 1 definitely didn't, and Crash 2, I feel like pretty... M I, I, I don't think it did. Um, those two games now come with relic challenges, so you can go back after finishing them, um, hit that little spinning clock that you see at the beginning, beginning of the level that would be around here after the fact, and play through the level uh, as, as a time trial and so that's really uh, I, I'm really happy that they did that actually because it it meant it, it means that crash one if it wasn't difficult enough you know like it, it's got even more to stand on now in terms of content not that it was ever short on content to be to be fair right now obviously I'm going for gems because uh, I got my eyes on the prize Probably gonna mess up anyway. Another thing about the depth that I raised, oh my god, that looks so weird. Um, that I mentioned earlier, jumps can suffer. So I've found that I've I fall short on my jumps a lot more than I would on PS1 uh again a few months ago. Um not to a terrible extent. Like it's not unreasonable. Um but I, I am noticing that I'm messing up more. Could just be in a bad mood. Yeah, you know, like that. I want the gem. Currently on track for that gem. It's looking good. Can I can I pull it up? Can I pull it up? Can I pull it up? Oh shit, that was close. Nice. That's a little first look at the Crash Insane trilogy here on Sticky Trigger. I'm looking forward to play the rest of the game, actually. I'm really excited to uh, maybe try and finish one of the games, actually. Never finished any of them. Got close, um, but never truly finished any of them. So I'm excited to, to commit and see uh, what kind of surprises there are throughout the level. Stuff that I might not have noticed before, just because it might not have stuck out to me on PS1. Now, a lot sticks out. So, um, yeah. That wraps, up. that wraps it up for this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are Sticky Trigger on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Check out the site, stickytrigger.com, and follow me on Twitter if you want to. I'm at Cringeworthy. But for now, that's all from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.